Hi again. So we are in our series on repair, amends and reconciliation, and forgiveness. Um, so anybody who knows me uh, knows that I was an addictions counselor for a few years before I started my private practice. And in that I really developed an appreciation for harm reduction, for 12-step, and for wellness-based approaches, meaning-focused approaches uh, towards how we are mismanaging our pain and how we are self-medicating. So when I think of amends, I go to the big book, I go to the step studies, and I go to 12 steps and step nine. So step nine of the 12 step program really says make direct amends except, so, except for when to do so would cause harm to self or others. Now this is a really important piece just right now because we don't wanna be foolish with how we are reaching out towards people who have been so vulnerable to share their pain stories with us. Um, so really amends requires us to have good judgment, good sense of timing, to have courage and prudence. And this is all directly from the 12 steps curriculum. Um, so if we're really seeking to make an amends, the purpose is reconciliation if possible. Uh, but amends is also requires us to reflect carefully uh, and precisely. So we want to reflect carefully on our stories with people and consider, you know, how have I been reckless with other people? In particular right now, um, people who are bio, uh, POC or POC. It's like, have I been reckless? How have I been reckless? And to be precise. So it's like, what stories or what items am I recalling in my mind that um, show me I have been reckless in these relationships that maybe I do have some amending to do now just because we're looking through our life and we're considering you know who we have wronged and how we may need to make amends doesn't necessarily mean we are going to speak to those things because if it's going to cause harm to the other person or to ourselves then that's not the safe place to do it. If we've lost touch with somebody, we haven't talked to them in 20 years, it really might be reckless or impossible to make that amends. Um, and then, so that's part of this big question. If we are unable to make amends, that's where we ask ourselves why. Why haven't I made an amends is a big question mark for us. If this is just purely rooted in fear, that is our challenge. And I think that that is something that we have really been um, considering during this time in June of 2020 is like, who is just being driven by fear and who is living in silence because they are too afraid of how their words or their reach might come across messy and that could cause some conflict. But again, it's that heart action thing, that heart repair thing that is gonna help us to be able to reach forward and make amends when we can and as we can. So the only requirements for making amends, complete willingness, that we have a completely willing heart. And you hear that and it's like, yeah, if I'm coming from a heart of willingness, maybe, maybe I can say and put this in a way that it is going to be appropriately received. Readiness to take full consequences and responsibility. Wow, that is frightening. I mean, if I'm not willing to take um, full consequences and responsibility, I'm not ready to make an amends. So there's there's the big piece there, you guys. If you, if you or I have wronged people and we're not ready to sit with that person and hear it through and to be accountable and to own those things that we have done, it's not time to do amends. That is a time where we are gonna cause more damage. Amends require sincerity of heart, a changed heart that is going to prove that what I am saying and offering to you is meant for you. That is that being with thing. That is that circle of security thing that we are going to work this out thing. And that we are just really, again, that, that we're accepting the full consequences and the responsibility for the well-being of others. My amends is for the well-being of others. This is not a self-serving action. It's an authentic, sincere focus on 
this is for you to free you from what I have done to you. All right, you guys. So I'm hoping this is a good challenge. I feel challenged when I explore these things. I always do. And I'm grateful for that challenge. Um, and hey, if you want to talk more about this stuff, feel free to contact our intake and see if this is something that, that would be important for you to discuss with one of our psychologists. All right. Uh, one more part in this little series.